Hi guys, in this video, we're going to build a module in Julia, the Julia programming language, to calculate ages of entities or persons. So let's get started. Let's start with our module. Module, let's call it edge calc. And let's create a function, or at least a skeleton of a function. Let's call that function calculate calculate age. This function takes a string called birth date string date string. And in this function, we're going to initialize the variable age to zero. And what we're going to do is return age. And I'm going to end my oops, and I'm going to end my function. And I'm going to end my module. And down here, I'm going to have a sample birthday. Let's call it my birthday is, uh, let's put a string, uh, 1980, uh, 1127. And let's print uh, my, my age is, and then Let's print, uh, call the module hcalc, hcalc, the uh, calculate age, and pass uh, my birthday. There you go. Oops. My birthday. Right. Great. Save that. And let's run it. Should give age of zero. Yeah, great. So that works. So we got the uh, skeleton running. <clears throat> now let's get let's get started with the with the main work. And the first question is, how do I calculate age? And what do I need? Well, age we're gonna be needing. We're gonna be working with dates. Basically, I mean, let's let's think about it like this. If I'm telling you I was born in 1980, and now today, let's put it up here, <clears throat> today's date, today's date is 2020-05-26. And if I'm telling you that I'm born in 1980, how old am I? Well, what, what does any person do? Well, you take the 2020, i.e. the year of today, minus the 1980, i.e. the year of my birthday. And hence you get like 40. So how do you do that with Julia? Well, first of all, we need to import a module called dates. And there are two ways of importing modules in Julia. One is with using, and the module is called dates. Or you can also import dates. The difference is, if you're going to use a method, for instance, dates has a method called today. If you're going to, if, you, if you're using, if you're using dates like this, then you can just call today as is. If you say import dates, then you got to have dates, or you got to supersede dates, uh, you supersede your method calls with dates. That's the difference. So with import, if you're, if you're saying import dates, then you'd have dates dot, whatever your method is. If you're saying using dates, then you just can call your method without superseding it with the word dates. And so, like I said, uh, if we're going to calculate the age roughly, it is basically the year of today minus the year of my birthday. So, and in order to use the years, and the dates, we use the, fun, the package dates, and now we create two variables, basically what's today's date, and that varies, so here, today's date is nothing else but the function or the method today, which is part of the dates package. And the other thing is birth date, what is birth date? Well, birth date is nothing else but converting um, that string pass to the function to a date. And the way to convert from string to function, you use the function date, and in it, it gets the birth date string, 
obviously. And you specify the format. And the format we have here is basically um, four placeholders for the year, then two for the month, and two for the day. Great. So, and what we said, roughly, if we're going to calculate the age, age is what? The year of today, i.e. age is equal to year of, what's today's variable? Well, date today. And minus, uh, what's, what's birthday? Well, the year of my birth date. And birth date. Save it. And let's run that. Now, the skeleton gave age zero. What does this first iteration of our function give us? And it gives us 40, which is, yeah, nearly right. And the only problem here is that my birthday is in November. Right now it is May, so I have not reached 40 yet. So whereas where my if my birthday was in January, then obviously I would have reached 40. So here, obviously, there are two kinds of birthdays. Basically, the birthday is falling before today's month and or before today, and the birthday is falling after today. And obviously, my current birthday is falling after today. So I have not aged yet. Now, how do I do that? Well, here we need some conditions. And there, you know, there are numerous ways of doing it. Let's take it this way. If, if what? If let's say today's if if my birth month yeah if my birth month which is basically month birthday is smaller than today's month what then well then i've definitely aged because if if i was born in february that would be a 2 and today's, today's month is a five, two is smaller than five, I've obviously aged and become older. Otherwise, else, I still have last year's age. Let me copy that. And that last year's age would be that minus one. And let's end the function, if, uh, the if uh, branch. Right, save it. And now, let's see, I should my birth month is, is 11, and it's no way smaller than 05. So I should be here. So my age should be 39. Is that right? And my age is 0. Where's the mistake? Oh, I got it. It is here. Age. Forgot the A. Save. Run it again. So my age is 39, which is right. And if I change my birthday to 01, which is basically January, remove that and run it. And my age is 40. <clears throat> so already we are able to calculate ages in a quasi correct way. The only problem I have is what if my birthday was in May, which is today's for the current month, what happens then? Let's, let's try it out. So, I'm born on 27th of May. Remember, today is the 26th. What, what, what is my age? What does the program tell me? It tells me it's 39. Is that right? Yeah, that's true because my birthday hasn't taken place yet. So I'm 39. So that's right. What happens if I say I'm born on the 5th of May? Save it. Remove. And run. And now it's, it says still 39. But my birthday is passed. Well, the problem is this condition here. It just caters, it only caters for a birth, uh, um, a, a, a month, a birth month smaller than today's month. But it, this year doesn't cater for a birth month equal to today's month. And that's why we here we have to add a further condition and we do that with an else if. Else if. Else if what? Well, else if, let me just copy that, save me a lot of typing. Else if today's month is equal to the, the birth month, then what? Well, then, then what? What if I'm born in May? What happens? Well, it depends when in May. Exactly. So we need a further condition if, and now we have to go drill down to the day itself, day of um, 
uh, today is bigger or equal to the day of the birth date well what then well obviously then i have aged so basically if today today is the uh, 26th and if my birthday is on the 5th well i've already my birthday is passed and i've gotten a year older so this formula is right otherwise my birthday has not come yet and then I would have this formula so now and then let me end that internal if or inner if right so save it. so now you can see the logic behind it and you can apply you can attack this uh, problem using another logic but here the logic this way is like if my if my birth month is smaller than today today's month then my birthday is passed and I've aged one year, right? And if it's equal to today's month, well, then let's let's look at the day. When was I born? If my if today is bigger than my birthday, if the, today's day is bigger than my birthday, well, then I've also aged. Otherwise, I haven't aged, and otherwise, the you know the month is 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 uh, I mean completely my month hasn't come yet. Then I've also not aged, obviously, right? So this is sort of the logic here. Obviously, you can you can you can change the logic completely, but then you'd have to cater for all these positions. And now let's try it out. Let's delete everything and let's run it. So first of all, we run it with this birthday. This guy should be forty because his birthday is long past. Right, he's forty. And what about this guy who's got like yesterday birthday? Yep, he's also 40. What about the guy whose birthday is today? Save that. Run it. Yep, he's also 40. And what about the guy whose birthday is tomorrow? Save that. Clear. And go. And you go. There you go. This guy's birthday has not taken place yet, so he's still 39. So now here we have an exact um, birthday calculator which is able to discern when you are born and appropriately calculate the age for that. And you see here tomorrow, if you run that function tomorrow, then this guy would be 40. Right, so that's basically the way you built a module with Julia to calculate the age. And why I use the module is for the simple reason I want to have that module, I want that uh, importation of dates to take place within the module i could have also easily done just a function without that you know without that without the module but if i had the function without the module the user before using the function would have to import dates and with the module the user doesn't have to worry about that all the user's got to do is calc is call the module plus the function in this case calculate age and just pass it the birthday string that's it he doesn't need to do anything else he doesn't need to remember oh you know what i gotta import dates before it's all taken care of in that module that's the reason why i created a module and not just a simple function if i didn't need dates if i didn't need them then i would have just built a normal function but i needed this 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 inclusion shall we say of that package so that's why I said, you know what, I'll pack it all in one module and that makes the thing much more compact and much, much cleaner.